Happy Wine Wednesday, everybody! Hey everyone, it's Max, and welcome to Wine Wednesday with <laughs> Proud Poor. Hello, everybody! We made it! We made it to another Wednesday. Hello to you all. If you can see me and hear me clearly, let me know in the chat right now, because YouTube is giving us all sorts of problems lately, it seems. So um, just give me a little shout so I know that I'm not talking to nobody. You know what I mean? So thank you, Cody. <laughs> thank you, Janelle. <laughs> We're, we made it! We've, we've made it! This is fantastic! All right. This is great. I'm so happy. Um, and and I'm, I'm honestly, like, so excited for tonight, guys. Uh, because not only do we get to drink wine, but we actually get to help the planet. And, um, y you know, I love a... I love a product that has meaning, um, especially in today's world, you guys know, there's just a lot going on. So if a product is good and is meaningful and, and helps in some way, I like it. So uh, I'm so happy you guys are here tonight to, to watch this because I'm going to introduce you to Proud Poor. So we've got not one, not two, <laughs> but three wines to try tonight. And as you can see here, all three of these wines, aren't they cute, right, Leilani? They're like super cute. Um, all three of these wines help save something that needs help. So this one, for the ocean, specifically wild oysters. And look at that, you actually get an oyster shell. This one is rosé for the reefs, and this is a pinot for the bees. Uh, so we will do, we will, we will, what we'll do tonight is we will do a, a, a tasting of each, and uh, I'll tell you how the wine is, and I'll also tell you the story behind each of these, because there's a story behind um, all of these wines, and I'm, I'm just excited to, uh, to share that with you guys. Uh, look at, look at Tom, he's singing Heal the World. That's it. Heal the world, make it a better place, that's right, for you and for me and the entire human race. I love it. We love it. What, what a song that was too, right? Ah. <sighs> Um, we love our Michael here on, 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 on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were singing along now. <laughs> See, we're already singing and we didn't even have the wine yet. Right? <laughs> um, cool. Who saw, so we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this party going right now. I knew Dee Dee would love that, like that Michael Jackson we just did, right? So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna start right here. Um, we're gonna start with the Sauvignon Blanc. By the way, are you all having wine at home? I, I do need to know this. Are we having wine at home this evening? Uh, we're going to start here with the Sauvignon Blanc. And you know. Oh, hey, Caitlin. Yeah, the oyster shell actually did come with this. I, I, I also have a, a very funny uh, little story about this, too. Um, and uh, which I will... I will I'll share with you guys. Um, so we're gonna pour this in here. Oh, where is Jenna? Is Jenna here? If Jenna is here, um, Jenna actually made this uh, glass for me. So this is all Jenna artwork. So uh, that's very exciting and I, I, I thank you, Jenna. So, hey Jenna, so we're gonna use your glass for the Sauvignon Blanc for the oysters, we're going, we're going to do that. All right, here we go. Let's open this. Just a twist, you know. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have opened it beforehand. We, we got this. 
You know what I need? I need a towel. <laughs> oh no, I got it. Okay, here we go. Let me take the... I want to take the oyster shell off, actually. So. Muscle Beach! <laughs> yeah. I want to show you this. Um, it's beautiful, right? Beautiful. RJ! RJ's here! Hi, RJ! Do you, uh, do, do you guys know what? It's RJ's birthday. It is RJ's birthday. So, ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear RJ. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, RJ. Um, I am so happy that you're here for, for this. And we, we, we get to toast to RJ. This is very exciting. All right. Let's get going here with our proud pour Sauvignon Blanc um, in our in our in our Mickey uh, wine glass made by Jenna. Okay. So all of their wines are sustainably grown. That is that is one thing to. Ooh, that is um, lovely. It's actually lovely. Um, uh, sustainably grown. So very important here um, when we're talking about all, everything that they make. So another thing I love about this is that you actually get a ton of information right on the bottle. So right on the bottle, you're going to get a, a lot of info about what they're actually doing with their wines. So... Um, this is the Sauvignon Blanc, and it restores 100 oysters. Yes. So, by, by, by drinking this, this restores 100 oysters. And they've actually been able to restore 13 million oysters. Um, and, and that's amazing. It's really amazing. Right? It's, it's super amazing. So every bottle will restore 100 wild oysters to estuaries across North America. So that's just that's every single bottle. Um, I want to taste this because it's just sitting here, you know? Oh, nice. Um, crisp. Yes. This, um, and that helps clean water. See, Caitlin's right there. Caitlin knows her stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah. Well, this is actually delicious. It is, it is, a, you know what this is, guys? Um, this is everything a Sauvignon Blanc, when you think of Sauvignon Blanc, this, this, that's, that's what this is. Um, uh, Crisp, citrusy, got that, yeah, citrusy, lemony, uh, th this is one of those, this is one of those easy drinking, uh, yeah, those clean, easy drinking wines, okay? It's, it, this is a great, uh, like, I'm on the beach wine. Good with the oysters, <laughs> yeah. This is one of the, yeah, that's what this is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, through the sales of this, 13 million oysters have been restored. That's insane. That's insane. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, in the, in the wild, oysters are uh, different, and, and, uh, I, I, Caitlin could probably help me with this, but oysters attach to each other when they, when they're young, and they build um, these these structures of uh, uh, reefs, and that's the habitat for fish, um, and, and and so many other uh, species that live down there. Obviously, 
Um, exactly, Maddie. Yeah, they're the filtration system of, of, of the sea. So um, oyster reefs prevent, you know, erosion and and um, it, it, this is a, it, they are we 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 need them. So. Um, and there's, there's a lot of, uh, oh, this is what I want to tell you about this as well. So the, um, the Pr Proud Poor has partners that are environmental partners and they recycle the used shell from the, from raw bars and they, they plant baby oysters on them and then they put them back into the water to, to rebuild the reefs. It, it is a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I, uh, yeah, we do, we do love that. So this, this like I said, a great cause, uh, proud poor. Let me go back and read your comments. What are the chances you drink enough of these wines to bring it into? We are here to change the world. Jess. Ooh. Oh, I, I like that. Maybe on the next one. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm hmm. I saw you guys say, you know, what do you pair this with? I mean, and like, yeah, you would pair this with an oyster. I mean, there's no doubt. Who likes oysters? Who likes these little guys? Who, who likes them? Because I do, and I, uh, yeah, all right, cool. So, yeah, you definitely pair this with oysters. Any, any, um... Missy's a noob. You, what are you talking about? You guys can't do the... Because I could do, like... I could do it all day long. Cody? Yes, you're on my team. Well, Cody and I are going to go get some oysters. We, you know, you, you just... You just slurp them up, and it's all good. I'm telling you. If you don't like oysters, um, these will go well with... Uh, you know, a wine like this goes well with any type of shell fish so oysters and you know mussels uh clams and you know you know you guys you guys get it right yeah um but this is delicious and and, and again um uh, this is a wine that is Oh, let me look at me. I just drank the whole thing. <laughs> I must have liked it. Barbecue oysters are your favorite, Alexa. What are? Explain what barbecue oysters are. I, I want. I want to hear more about that. Um, and if you love the glass, you, you thank Jenna for that because Jenna made this glass. We're showcasing the talents of Jenna here, right? We are. We're showcasing Jenna's talents. Oh, Amanda's here. What's up, Amanda? Welcome to the party. We're talking about um, saving the planet. You know, we are we are helping our wild oysters right now. It's great. We love it. Uh, Luke, hey, I'm happy you're wearing your Wine Wednesday shirt too. Wine Wednesday shirt. Yeah, with twins. Uh, it's on sale again, by the way. Thirty five percent off if you're thinking about getting a Wine Wednesday shirt. You know. Yeah. Should I finish this last sip and then we move on to the next? What do we think? What do we think? Really cold on the ice, delish, yeah. Shauna, your husband loves barbecue ice with tequila and, and barbecue. See, I love this. This is great. I, I, I honestly, I love this kind of stuff. I, I really do enjoy, um, I really enjoy anything with the shell. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, that was uh, that was great. Yep. Crisp, citrusy. Yeah, we like it. Um, Sauvignon Blanc for the oysters is a winner. And can I tell you guys something funny? Let, let, let me let me tell you a little story. Okay. Who saw the little uh, video I posted on Instagram today of uh, this bottle and our next one at the beach and the water coming up? Did we see that? 
So I brought these two um, to the beach to do a little photo shoot with my wine. You know, I was very, I was that guy. Brought my wine bottles to the beach to do a photo shoot. <laughs> and I, um, you know, I placed these uh, in the sand. And on the first try, The wave came up, and man, it was a big wave, and knocked this one over. So this one went boom, boom into, into the Pacific Ocean, and so did our little oyster friend. So I, I run into the Pacific, and I grab the bottle. No oyster shell. I'm like, no, no, no. I guess the oyster shell wanted to go back. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking, and I'm looking, and then there was our oyster shell. Somehow washed back up for us. <laughs> so that was a little story of the photo shoot. So it was not easy to actually get the beautiful shot that I ended up getting. But, um... I'm happy you liked it, and it's really funny right now because there is there's just uh, there's still just sand all over my table right now. <laughs> there's just sand all over my table right here because the, <laughs> these wine bottles are just filled with with uh, 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 sand. It's, it's it's great. It's good good stuff. All right, let's go um to the next wine we're gonna drink. I'm gonna change glasses here. We gotta do this right. And our next one is our rosé for the reefs. <laughs> so, again, this is, um, I like how this looks, right? Yeah. So this is a Russian River Valley uh, rosé. Russian River Valley. You know what? I didn't tell you guys where this was from, and I'm, I apologize for that. This is from Mendocino County. The Sauvignon Blanc was Mendocino County, um, so California. And uh, this one, also California, Russian River Valley, Rosé. And this one is for our reefs. So let's open this one up. Wait, could you hear that? You hear the sand? Did you guys hear it? Like that, that is the, the sand. Right? <laughs> Man, I tell you. Um, oh yeah, Anna, we got some ASMR right there. It's very crunchy sand. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's pour some rosé in here and, uh, mm, okay. Oh yeah, it's a pretty color. Very pretty color. Lovely. That's really lovely. Uh, I gotta say, um, like, aren't, aren't aren't the designs on this cool? Like, whoever designed these is nice. Rose gold. You are so right. Miniature Missy is right on there, Michelle. You are so right on with the. Yeah. Uh, RJ. RJ loves himself some rosé, so we got you know it's his birthday, so we'll we'll this this will be the cheers to RJ, okay? Um, and this is for our reefs. So this is for the reefs. Um, hold on one second. I gotta. Ooh, you know what? That is um. Hmm. Ooh. I kind of like what I'm getting out of this. Uh, it is... To me, I'm smelling a little bit of a bolder um, rosé. Like, I'm not getting any... I'm getting... Um, to my nose right now, I'm getting more of that stone, that wet stone thing. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, it is a little co coral color, Caitlin, yeah. 
Summer Zay has a pepper taste to you, Shauna. Interesting. We'll see how it tastes. Um, because I'm smelling uh, wet stone, which we've talked about a lot with, with Vanessa, that wet rock. It almost smells like I'm on... Um, you know, I'm I'm on the beach and I just picked up a rock from from the from the ocean. <laughs> yeah. And and it is like that. So think about that and it makes sense. This that's what I'm getting here right now, which is really interesting. Oh, as it opened up a little more, now I'm getting a little more of the fruit. Just a little bit more. I'm still getting the ocean rocks. Wet stream okay that's what we're getting so far let's taste it mm mm ooh 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 i really i really really like this one oh yeah mm 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 oh flavor just completely changed as i had it Boy, oh boy, that is, um, you know what, I gotta say, we're not just saving the the reefs, we are actually drinking a really good rosé here. That is a fuller, um, almost bolder rosé. I'm so confused, I feel like it, it, it's, it's a little, got a little... buttery notes to it, which is odd, but I like this. Wow. I really like this one. Um, so, Anna, I just saw you ask. We are drinking Proud Pour. Proud Pour. Mm. So, here's how this helps. So, every single... Every three cases... I should say. Every three cases of this rosé um, plants a new baby coral. Every three cases of this plants a new baby coral to uh, restore uh, uh, reefs that, that, that are in need of being restored. So, um, they've already, uh, they've already uh, had over 100 baby corals that have been um, grown and, and uh, planted. Um, and so, that's super cool. I like this one a lot. Hold on a second again here. Mm. Again, coral, 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 coral reefs uh, are, um, and and I, I, you know, you guys can help me out with this, all of my marine people, but coral reefs um, support a lot. Uh, how much do they support of, the, of marine life? But coral reefs are, are really important. Um, so, I don't know if you guys can help me out with that, but, uh, I don't know. They're also, um, you know, with, with, with uh, coral reefs are basically the tropical rainforest of the ocean. There you go. Straight from Kate. Do you see that? That is, just listen to whatever Caitlin says tonight, okay? Because that is who, <laughs> if you want to learn about our oceans, there you go. Talk to Caitlin because she knows her stuff. Uh, a real, a real professional marine biologist. We love this. <laughs> Okay, the so marine biologist, coral biologist. Well, wow. see, see, we've got, we've got. See, we just yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I can tell you this. Am I right about this? Um. So so by. So these reefs, okay, basically when we uh, plant these, they, what, like, what do they do if we, if we plant these? Are they going to help um, with, with, like, climate change and, and 
what, you know, like what exactly does it do? Because we can go plant uh, baby corals and, and what is, you know, what does it exactly do? Um, we're helping the marine life, but what, are, what, like, what else are we doing? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Ooh, th I'm telling you, this is a good rosé. Here's what I want to do. Restore a lot of species populations. Okay. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Um, I don't think, I don't think I put the link to the, I think put the link to the, uh, uh, website in here. Let me do that. Let me do that for you guys right now. So there it is. There you go. That's proudpoor.com. Put that right there. Give them a, give them a look because, um, like now that I've actually had the wine, I'm like, oh, well, I, okay, this is good because I'm, I'm actually drinking uh, uh, good wine and helping the planet. This is good. I'm still, I'm still getting all of those, those stone, uh, I'm still getting the wet stone. Um, this is, this is definitely dry, you know, um, it is definitely a, a drier, uh, wine. So it's not a sweet rosé. This is a dry rosé. I'm getting a little bit, um, uh, it tastes like you're walking on the beach, Luke. You know, uh, uh, if <laughs> this is another gr great beach wine, yes, yeah, like for sure. And this is a um, a Pinot Noir rosé. So you know, there are different types of rosés out there. Uh, so it, it's this is a Pinot Noir rosé, and I'm getting a little. As it, as it opens up a little bit more now, I'm definitely, there's a little bit of that strawberry that just came in. Slightly, I'm still getting a lot of the, um, I'm still getting a lot of the, the, the whetstone. Uh, more than anything, this is the whetstone with a touch of the raspberry strawberry thing happening. Um, this is something you wanna eat uh, with, uh, Again, this would go perfect with any sort of seafood, um, a salad. Um, you know, you I could see this with like some. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, the picture in my head right now is like I'm on the beach and I got I got this and I've got like a like a seafood salad kind of deal. You know what I mean? That. Oh yeah, I'm 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 good. I'm good. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good, that's a, that's a great rosé. Um, yeah. Well done, proud poor. Uh, and I gotta say, um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I, 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 uh, when I found out about this wine, uh, I, I was, you know, I was obviously really interested in learning a lot more about it. So I did get to talk to, um, you know, this company is run by only two people. So I did get to talk to one of them. And, um, so I, I, I learned a lot about the company and the mission. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Uh, so Caitlin here said coral reefs help protect shorelines, uh, from erosion and storms attract, um, algae eaters that'll attract more fish. Okay. And they have a lot of medicinal properties. See, this is amazing. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So this, I, 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 I gotta say this company is, uh, just two people. Um, and I, I just talked to them yesterday, actually. And, uh, they not only have these three wines, they also have, I know Didi's here, I know Didi's here, they also have a, a cider 
for, yes, uh, they have this cider, Dee Dee. They do, and it's for the sea turtles. So uh, they have a cider for the sea turtles. Um, that one can't be shipped. Um, these three wines that we're having tonight are the ones that can be shipped. The cider for the sea turtles is only available in stores right now. So um, you can check out uh, the locations that they have them. Um, they told me that they're expanding. You know, Dee Dee, I would have had that cider. I would have had that cider tonight if I could have had that cider. You know it. Um, but I could not get the uh, the cider. It's it, it, they're not they're not here right now. It's only in seventeen states um, currently, but uh, there's a lot online and they're expanding. And uh, so 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 do not worry. We will try we will try the cider for the sea turtles one day because I I, I think that sounds like a, a great idea, right? We gotta have some cider for the sea turtles, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So Joyce, Whole Foods, uh, look at that. So Joyce says they have it, and Joyce is in Florida. So all my Floridians, we love that. We love it. We love it. Um, RJ, good, good, good night, my buddy RJ. Happy birthday! And look at RJ. Don't forget to vote. That's right. Um, Caitlin, did they not ship the cider to reduce waste? Uh, I would assume I didn't ask about it. Yeah, but yeah. What's up, Sarah? Cider for sea turtles. You're in, right? So Joyce says Whole Foods has it in Florida. That's great. Okay, that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, you know what, guys? My water is on the counter over there. I just got to get some uh, water. You know, we got to we gotta hydrate. Always got to... You always got to hydrate when you do these shows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> always. Okay, uh, so yeah, Proud Pours, uh, I gave you guys the website, um, and uh, they keep expanding, by the way. They're, they're, so they told me, before we get to the next one, which will be our, our, our last one, it's the Pinot, um, they have three more that they're working on. So this is pretty cool. So mm -hmm. they've got uh, the Grenache for Grey Wolves. Pretty cool. Wheat Grenache last week, remember? Um, they have the Chardonnay for sharks. <laughs> and the Syrah for soil. So that's what they're working on right now. Uh, and and you, know, we'll, we, you know we'll be trying all three of those when they are ready. Yes, the Grey Wolves, the sharks, and the soil. Um, and I, I gotta say, this is so cool uh, to, to share this all with you guys because you know, you know, I, I, especially this year, especially this year, um, want to promote companies that are doing good uh, and, and, uh, you know, especially lately here on Wine Wednesday, we've been able to do that, uh, which is which is wonderful. So I'm so happy that you guys are, are joining me again for this. Um, yeah. And I, I got to get a wine opener because this, because our, our, our Pinot is, is not a screw cap. So let me have this last sip here. Hmm. That's a good rosé. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Let me go get my wine over here because I forgot it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, oh yeah, sure. They're all screw caps, right? Nope. <laughs> okay. You know that rosé's really got this nice minerality to it. 
and I guess that's, you know, the stone thing that I'm getting there. Yeah. Bye, Alexa! So happy you were here. Uh, okay. Let me open this up in a second here. I also, guys, wanted to tell you a little bit about this. Um, you know we did the big fundraiser. We raised money for uh, our cast members. We raised money for Napa. I heard again from the Napa Valley Community Foundation. Um, thanks, Janelle. I heard from the Napa Valley Community Foundation, uh, and uh, they, they told me that they just launched uh, cash assistance programs to those that have been um, most affected by the wildfires. So it's, it's really neat. And they, you know, like I told you how they really prioritize where the money is going. Um, so they basically started an emergency financial assistance program for the local residents in Napa. And uh, it, so the money first went to homeowners and renters whose residences were uh, damaged or destroyed. Um, and then they gave grants to uh, workers that were facing economic uh, hardship from the fires. So um, it's pretty cool. So it, it, your money that you donated is, is really going to the people that need it the most and... Uh, um, so that's people that have lost their homes and the workers that need it the most in, in Napa. And they do a really good job of identifying those people. So thank you again, guys. And uh, y you can always help out again. Uh, Napa Valley uh, Community Foundation. So, yeah, that's that's some good news right there. Uh, it, it, y y your uh, your donations are, are really making a difference. So... So cool. All right, we're gonna move on to our pino for the bees. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get the bees into this now because is it, it's not, you know, a, a proud poor, we get a new glass. Proud poor is not only helping our uh, ocean friends, they're actually helping our bees too and we know we know our bees need help. Um, so, we got a Pinot Noir uh, that we're gonna uh, open up right now. So this is really nice. And I can tell you some facts about our bees, yeah? Our most important friend, yeah. So true, Jenna. Um, I always like to smell the cork. Do you guys like to smell the cork? It's a good way to tell if a wine, uh, if a wine has uh, been corked. That's an expression, but it's a good way to tell um, if a wine has been uh, has gone bad. Yeah, this smells good. Um, so some facts about this wine. As I look at this. This is beautiful. So uh, this is Proud Poor Pinot for the Bees, and this is a uh, 2018, uh, and it's from Oregon. And Oregon is a uh, really, really popular growing region, especially uh, for our Pinots. So let's see how this one is. Oh yeah, that's a Pinot color if I ever saw one. Oh, yeah, right? That looks like a Pinot right there. Yeah. Um, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is a very fragrant Pinot. You got, like, you, you know what I mean? That is, mm-hmm. Woo, boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, so I'm going to let that sit for a second. And, and I can uh, talk to you guys a little bit about this Pinot. So, um, <laughs> I was just thinking about, I'm sorry, I just got, to, I was just thinking about a uh, conversation I was having earlier today about Pinot, which is really funny. 
Jess, Jess, I'm telling you, this Pinot's, this Pinot is actually, I mean, it's, it smells good. You gotta just trust me. You gotta trust me. Okay, do you like the typeface on the bottle? Yeah, like the, the design on these bottles is exceptional. Exceptional. Um, all right, Pinot Noir. Oh yeah, all of that. What is, okay, wait, I got, I got a question for you guys. We've had our fair share of Pinot Noirs on this. Um, when you think of Pinot Noir, besides Titus from Kimmy Schmidt, <laughs> besides Titus from Kimmy Schmidt, what else are, are we thinking? Um, What <laughs> what other tasting notes do we think of when we hear Pinot Noir? Go. You'll copy paste. Great. Light bodied, no legs, low tannin, high fruit intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maddie is right on there. Yup. Yup. We are, we are thinking chunky yet funky. Raspberry, um, yeah. A little bit, a little bit, uh, there's another, yep, raspberry. What else, cherry? Our strawberry? Yes, and Pinot Noir is definitely the lighter of our reds, obviously. Um, and this Pinot for the bees, the Pinot for the bees, that's who we're helping here. And this is actually a really cool thing. So, do you see this bottle? Right, Leilani Jammy, but not bold at all. Pinots are not bold. You see this bottle right here, okay? Every single bottle of this plants... Uh, 35 square feet of bee habitat across North America. So every bottle of this plants 35 square feet of bee habitat. Um, and uh, what did they tell me yesterday? So they told me yesterday that through the sales that they have made from this, they have... Uh, actually planted 80 acres of wildflowers. 80 acres of wildflowers planted to date for the bees. So, that's beautiful. Let's try it. Okay, yes. So this is, this is, uh, okay. So Oregon Pinots are, and this is exactly what this is. It's an Oregon Pinot, much, much lighter. Um, this is a little bit earthy. Um, I'm getting the, I'm getting uh, more of the strawberry now as it's as it's get. I mean, yeah, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, a lot of floral notes here. Yeah. Pinot Noirs to me are are just very very easy to, to, to drink. You know, when you have a Pinot Noir, um, cause like you, you have a Pinot Noir and you place it next to a big bold cab from Napa. Pinot Noir is like, is like water. You know what I mean? But, uh, sometimes you want just a Pinot Noir. You know what I mean? So this is, this is something that where, where you're like, oh, hey, 
Pinot Noir that helps the planet, helps the bees. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I... Ah, oh, yeah, this smells good. It really smells good. It's... Oh, you see, look at this. This is a really interesting thing here that Katie here just said. The fruitiness of the Pinot makes me enjoy it more than most other reds. It's too dry. It tastes like shoe leather, but Pinot's nice and light. And that's what I'm talking about. Because there are people that like the, the taste of shoe leather um, over the, the taste of something light and, and a little bit more fruity like this. Um, you know, me, I probably like the shoe leather. <laughs> As we know, you know, you know, I like my big bold <laughs> wines, but you guys know, you guys know, I do enjoy a Pinot, um, and a Pinot that's helping out our bees. Well, you know what? Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, we like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, well, let me just... Let me tell you what this is. So here they said they worked with a family vineyard in Oregon to create a wine worthy of this environmental mission. Vegan Pinot Noir. Fine tannins and notes of raspberry and black cherry. All made with... <laughs> sustainably grown grapes. It says, pairs great with Tuesday night. Well, you know what? It pairs great with Wednesday night, too. <laughs> Look. All good. Shauna, your husband's friend that is a bee farmer loves to bring a bees to her manor from That's so cool. Wait, you have a mandarin farm? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Enjoy your dinner. Uh, yeah. Man. I'll tell you. Mm. What have you missed? Rose, Rose is here. Uh, no one's trying to get me to learn Spanish. You missed the whole show, though, Rose. We tasted a lot. We tasted our Sauvignon Blanc for our oysters, for our wild oysters. Oh, happy anniversary! Man, there's so many celebrations tonight. Happy anniversary, uh, Ryan and Rose. Cheers to you guys. That's wonderful. Um, engagement anniversary. So when you get engaged, you get to celebrate that anniversary too? Oh, this is fun. So wait, you guys celebrate... Wait, all you married people out there. You celebrate engagement anniversaries too? You celebrate. So I, do I get to, so I'm gonna get to celebrate an engagement anniversary and an anniversary? Is that how it goes? That's not bad. Oh, Jay says he doesn't. All right, but yeah. That's pretty fun though. I gotta tell you. I like how you do it. I love celebrations. First date, okay. Engagement, she's like, Zara's like, uh. Okay, this is like, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, Ryan proposed to Rose in front of Disneyland Castle. See, look at that. Sean had that. Okay, see, it's very, okay. So we all do it a little differently. Okay. <laughs> I'm with Leilani right here. Because I'm all about a celebration, so, like, whatever day I could celebrate, exactly, it, it, Joyce, yep, first date, like, totally, I totally, yes, I am, I am all about it. I'm all about celebrations, you guys know this, so, I like to celebrate, um, important dates, too. No. 
We love it. Um, no one got engaged, Janelle, which is celebrating the date that Ryan and Rose got engaged. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are fun. Um, <laughs> you can leave, Janelle. You can leave. It's fine. No one got engaged. But also you can stay because I have some very important B facts from Maddie that I need to share with you all. Okay? So here's what Maddie has to say about bees. Maddie knows her stuff about bees. Let me just tell you. If you want to know things about bees, you ask Maddie. So bees are incredibly important because they are the main pollinator for over 80% of our crops, 80%. Uh, they provide almost $14 billion annually to crop yield and quality. So bees, the, we need to save the bees. Like they're so important. I can't even, um, We, we need our bees. Also, I love that, that Maddie pointed this out to us. The bees who do the work, not just the worker bees, are female. Males are responsible for just Reproduction. Nuptial flight, as she said in parentheses here. So, the bottom line is we need our bees. And we also need our women. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheers to the, to the ladies because, you know, nothing happens no, nothing, nothing happens with, 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 without our, our, our ladies. Like, nothing. Nothing. So, uh, it cheers, cheers to the, to the ladies. Like, for real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Queen bees, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers to our ladies and our bees. We love it. Thanks for providing all those facts, man. You got any more bees facts? We, 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 you know? Yeah. Oh, see, Maddie's got more facts. I love, I, I, I love this. Biggest threat to bees in the agricultural industry is pesticides and transport. See, Maddie's just... Look, anything we can do to help our bees is big. And if that means I have to drink Pinot Noir, that is the sacrifice I gotta make. I also want to point out to you the cork that I smelled earlier. I am always here for this sacrifice, Cody. Always. So, I smelled this cork, but I didn't read it for you guys, so I want to read it to you now. Um, so, this cork says something that I agree with. Very much. And that is that you are awesome. Yeah. So if you're watching this right now, you are awesome. It's 
pretty cool. And also, um, it also says, this bottle plants 300 wildflowers to save bees. So that's really neat. Oh, is that a Mr. Rogers moment? Oh, oh gosh. You're gonna make me cry. If you compare me to Mr. Rogers, I'm gonna cry because, you know, that's a hero of mine too. You know, oh man, whew. Um, but you know, you guys are awesome. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Stop it! No, no, you're not gonna make me cry on national TV or whatever this is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> national TV, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just date myself there? Yeah, you know it. <clears throat> oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Oh, man. We are... Yeah. Good times, guys. Real good times. I'll tell you. Oh yeah, Mr. Rogers is public television, that's right. <clears throat> that's right. Hmm. Uh, th wow, this was good. What a good night. Do you guys need, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this in again here because I know you guys probably Give you the proud poor link again. There you go. Go check them out. I actually think this is a really cool thing for the holidays. Um, yeah. Really cool thing for the holidays. Helping out our... Helping out our planet that, that really needs all the help it can get right now. I mean, guys... Like, yeah, it's 50 bucks for the, so the three wines that, that I have here are 50 bucks. Yeah. $50. There's a bunch of different packages that they actually have on their website. Um, that are, oh, look at Tiffany. She just ordered the three pack. That's awesome, Tiffany. So Tiffany right there, it has, uh, that's what, you know, that's what I got. So, that's so neat. Um, there's a bunch of different packages that they have 